The George Washington Colonials are at odds of 1,000 to 1 to win the NCAA championship in 2017. The team went 28 and 10 last season, going 11 and 7 in the Atlantic 10. The George Washington Colonials are coming off one of those seasons that was technically successful, but only if you consider winning the NIT a success. The Colonials were thought of as a team that could make the NCAA tournament, but they were left out and had to settle for the NIT. The Colonials did really well in the NIT and ended up winning the tournament, but the big dance is where they wanted to be. The Colonials have Tyler Cavanaugh back as he averaged 16.8 points and 7.6 rebounds per game last season. Cavanaugh will need to have a big season because the team doesn't have nearly as much depth as they did last year as they lost seven players who averaged at least 10 minutes per game. The big loss is Patrico Garino who averaged 14.1 points per game. He will be tough to replace as will Kevin Larson who averaged 12.3 points per game. The Colonials have added Jaron Cena from Seton Hall and Patrick Steves from Harvard. Cena averaged 7 points per game with Seton Hall while Steves averaged 9.1 points per game last season for Harvard. George Washington has some freshmen who can see playing time, including 6'9 forward Kevin Marfo. George Washington does return Yuta Watanabe, who averaged 8.4 points per game. He should get one of the starting spots in the backcourt along with Cena. The Colonials could go with a three-guard lineup and put Steves in the starting lineup. George Washington has the potential to do well in 2016-17. The Colonials are going to be good this season as they have Kavanaugh to lead them and a decent supporting cast around them. The question for George Washington is depth, as there are not a lot of answers beyond the top five players. George Washington probably deserved an NCAA tournament bid last season and missed out. It will be very difficult for the team to win as many games as they did a year ago, so they will probably need to win the Atlantic 10 tournament to make the NCAA tournament this season.